The Monster's Monster by Patrick McDonnell. Grouch, Grump, and Little Gloom and Doom thought they were monsters. They lived in a dark monster castle, high atop a dark monster mountain, overlooking a monster-fearing village. Their little monster heads were always filled with big monster thoughts: smash, crash, and bash. Huffing and puffing, mad about nothing, their ten favorite words were: no, 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 no. No, 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 and no. Every day they argued over who was the biggest, baddest monster, who could complain the loudest, who could throw the most terrible tantrum, who was the most miserable. These debates always ended in a brawl. One day they decided to settle the argument. Once and for all, Grouch got some tape, tacks, staples, and glue. Grump found some gunk, gauze, and gobs of goo. Gloom and Doom grabbed bolts, wire, and smelly old shoe. Together, they would make a monster, monster, the biggest, baddest monster ever. They hoisted their creation into the stormy sky, where bam, a lightning bolt sent a powerful jolt through the creature. The monster started to twitch. He's alive! Alive! The little terrors exclaimed. The monster roared as he stumbled around, tearing away his bandages. Big little gloom squealed. Bad. Little Doom squeaked, "Monster!" They all cheered together. The growling giant reached towards them, and then, in a deep, booming voice, he said his first words. "Thank you." He crushed them to his chest with a tight squeeze. "Thank you, thank you, thank you." Monster wiggled his stubby monster fingers and tapped his clunky monster feet. He looked around in wonder and threw open the window. The room filled with warm early dawn light, bird songs, and dewy fresh air. Monster smiled and let out a little giggle. "What do you think you're doing?" cried Grouch. Monster bounced about the room. Gently greeting the many bats, rats, spiders, and snakes around him. No, 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 no! Shouted the group. You are supposed to be a monster. But Monster didn't think he was a monster. He didn't think he was anything. But thankful to be alive. Monster became still, sniffing a hint of sweetness in the morning air. Suddenly, he let out a roar and smashed through the dungeon wall. Ha ha! Grouch laughed. He's finally come to his senses. Yes, yes! Shouted Grump. He's off to make mayhem in the village. He's going to smash, crash, and bash! Cried Gloom and Doom. The rascals dashed after Monster, trying to keep up with his long strides down the mountain. Monster! Monster! They cheered after him. The village bakery was just opening for the day when Monster plowed through the front door. Grouch, Grump, and Gloom and Doom anxiously waited outside the shop, peering through the dusty windows. Big whispered Gloom, bad whispered Doom. Shh, shh, begged Grump. I want to hear the howls and yells. There was a tense, quiet. And then finally, from inside the bakery, they heard, "Thank you." Monster appeared, clutching the white paper bag. Then he turned and headed out of town, toward the beach. After him, the trio cried, "Monster! Monster!" 
Monster slowly knelt down on the soft, cool sand. Grouch, Grump, and Gloom and Doom collapsed in a heap around him. As they tried to catch their breath, Monster gently patted their heads. He carefully opened a bag and gave each of them a warm powdered jelly donut. Grouch, Grump, and Gloom and Doom were speechless, but they remembered what their big bad monster had said. Thank you. Monster looked at them and smiled. They smiled back, and together they all started to giggle. Grouch, Grump, Little Gloom, and Doom, and their new friend sat quietly on the shore, watching the sunrise and the seagulls playing, and the sea grass dancing, and the ocean glistening, and no one was thinking about being a monster.